The next two pictures are designed to show you a little bit more about how rank works. So take a look at this. We're going to rank and we're going to qualify that rank less than six and we're going to get ranks one, two, three, four, five. We have no ties in terms of from descending order down. So one, two, three, four, five makes sense. Watch what happens when we do this in ascending mode next. We might get some ties. Now that we're ranking in ascending mode, we can see that the first two lowest daily sales were tied. So the first one got a rank of one. The second one got a rank of one. You would think the third one would go, I'm ranked second. They go, no, 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 no. They two tied for one, you're ranked third. And that's the way the rank is going to list this. There's nothing you can do to change that. As you can see here, we're qualifying our rank less than two. So you would think we would bring back one row, but because we're doing this in ascending order and because those two rows tied, it's going to bring back both of them. Try not to mess up what you have in your select list as a rank and your qualify. As you can see right here, we've got our select list that has a rank that is in descending order, but our qualify, we have the rank less than six, in ascending order. So as you can see, we're going to get a little bit of unexpected results here. It's all correct, but we've mixed and matched. So things come out a little differently than we probably planned. We're using Teradata syntax. We've got a WHERE clause here that is asking for 1,000 and 2,000 product IDs. We've got a GROUP BY statement asking for product ID. And then we've got a qualify statement that wants to qualify this rank less than four. We're going to get the top three daily sales per product ID. Since this rank is using Teradata syntax, it's that group by that resets on product ID. And of course, the qualify statement is now only going to give me the top three rows per product ID. We've seen Teradata syntax doing the rank and we've seen ANSI syntax doing the rank. I want you to think about it and tell me what the default sort order is. Let's look at the first example. Rank open paren over order by daily sales. Now, is that ascending or descending? Let's take a look here at the bottom and say, oh, we're going to rank the daily sales. Is that ascending or descending? Anytime you use a rank that's a ANSI rank, it's going to default to ascending order. As you can see at the bottom, we have a Teradata version of this, and it's always going to sort in descending order by default. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.